welcome to Watershed. We'd like to take you on a journey through the building, past the cafe bar and down a corridor, which you may have never seen before. There you'll find the pervasive media studio. When I first became a pervasive media studio resident, this welcoming and supportive nature set a new precedent that allowed me to interact, learn, grow, share and experiment. When I first came to the studio, I wasn't sure if this place would actually be for me. I met with a producer who made me feel comfortable and welcomed me into the space and that enabled me to engage. I created the murals in October last year. They span across three walls in the studio and basically sum up and represent the studio, uh, the residents within it and some of the projects that took place here. Storytelling is a massive focus for me in my work. Um, I like to use my practice as a platform for voices, specifically underrepresented voices. The murals are really important in telling a new story about the studio. It's important that they uh, represent a kind of diverse audience and the nature of the people who take up this space. Hi, I'm Zara Ash Harper. I'm a producer here at the Pervasive Media Studio. What's it mean? What does so, Pervasive Media mean? Although people ask this question all the time and you're never really sure if you got it right, but to me I think it's, it's sort of responding to the environment around you. There's such a lot of variety of stuff that comes out here, I think. The studio is a diverse community of people who come together with an interest around creativity and technology. Where did the Pervasive Media Studio name come from? So a bunch of people 10 years ago were kind of kicking around ideas and I think the idea of pervasive media being like a media that you could experience anywhere in the world felt really like it was going somewhere. Here we like people to come with questions. So some people are really far along in their practice or their career and they go, oh, I'm going to shift it in this direction. Or some people are doing something not remotely with technology, but no, there's this technology thing that they want to have a play around with and come to us and say, where do I start? What do I do? If you've got an early stage idea or are looking for creative experiences, then come and hang out with us and join us for our Open Studio Fridays. We encourage creative people to take risks and explore new parts of their practice. I've been here a couple of years now and I've seen magic, mayhem and memories made. My favourite moments are calm when we have space to dream and hope. That's when I feel the power in being part of a creative community. Every Friday from 12.30 you can come and take a tour, meet some like-minded people and enjoy our lunchtime talks from 1pm. Just bring yourself, your sandwiches and let's imagine our creative futures together.